Hello students, welcome to Solve Six classes. My name is Ashmita and in today's class we are going to talk about the philosophic optional paper of WBCS mains which uh, many candidates choose as their optional paper to secure good marks in the examination and to qualify in the recruitment based exam. So as you all know that in optional paper you have to attempt two papers of the same subject. So you need to think a lot before selecting your subject while filling up the application form. Now this optional paper is a part of the mains examination where you need to do a lot of descriptive writing as well as there would be objective type questions. Now mainly the focus is on descriptive writing. So if you don't have a basic idea of the subject and if you do not have detailed knowledge of the subject then it's uh, absolutely in impossible for you to just uh, write on that particular subject. So it's recommended to you that you choose your graduation subject or any subject which you have prior knowledge of. So that when you are given a question or you when you are given the question paper, you are not just blank. So you need to study a lot, do a lot of reference work. And the best advice that I can give you is that please do not choose an absolutely new subject. A subject about which you have knowledge, which you have studied once in a while in your school or in your college days, do select that subject as your optional paper. Please do not go for uh, an absolutely new subject. So in today's class, we are going to discuss about this optional paper of philosophy and uh, let us know what's the latest syllabus, what's the updated syllabus and uh, then we can prepare well for the examinations. So let's get to see the syllabus. Let us start discussing with paper one. In paper one, we have uh, problems of philosophy, both in European as well as in Indian philosophy, starting with uh, Plato and Aristotle, their ideas, substance, form and matter, causation, actuality and potentiality. Next, we have this rationalism, Descartes' principle, then uh, Spinoza, Leibniz, then Cartesian method and certain knowledge about substance, about God, about determinism and freedom. Then we have this empiricism, uh, theory of knowledge, substance and qualities, eliminating thoughts, self and God, skepticism. Uh, the next point uh, has or the next portion deals with uh, Kant's uh, different theories. Immanuel Kant's uh, different theories, uh, including possibility of synthetic uh, a priori judgments, then space and time categories. Then we have this portion on Moore, Russell and early Wittgenstein. Then uh, we have this concepts of defense of common sense, refutation of idealism, logical atomism, picture theory of meaning. Next portion deals with logical positivism, verification theory of meaning, rejection of metaphysics. The next point deals with Charvaka, theory of knowledge, metaphysics and ethics. Next we have this Jainism uh, under which there are different theories. Next we have Buddhism under which we have four noble truths. Pratitya Samutpada, then uh, Nasika Vada, then different other theories are there. Nyaya, Vaisisika, then theory of mind, theory of categories, theory of pramana, then self theories, theory of causation, atomistic theory of uh, creation, Samakya, Prakriti, Purusha, causation, the theory of evolution. Then we have this concept of yoga, Chitta, Chitta Vritti. Mimansa, epistemology, theory of validity. Next we have this Vedanta, views of Samkara and Ramanuja on Brahman. Then we have Ishvara, Atma, Jiva, Jagat, Maya, Avidya, Adhyasa. Next we have this concept of uh, Swami Vivekananda and practical Vedanta. Then Sri Aurobindo, evolution, inevolution, integral yoga. Then Rabindranath Tagore, Nature of Man, Surplus in Man. Moving over to paper 2, Socio-Political Philosophy and Psychology. We have Social and Political Ideals, Equality, Justice, Liberty, Views of Mill, Locke, Rawls, 
then we have individual and state rights duties and accountability next we have this political ideologies anarchism marxism socialism and democracy next we have this concept of humanism secularism multiculturalism then we have social change gandhi ambedkar then mind body problem dualism philosophical behaviorism person theory of strawson then we have levels of mind proofs for the existence of the unconscious fruet's theory of dream then chitta chitta vritti ethics and philosophy of religion then we have this concept of standards of morality utilitarianism then deontological theories virtue ethics aristotle uh, then we have this human rights discrimination feminism liberal and radical then environmental ethics biocentric ethics and ecocentric ethics next we have these concepts of theories of punishment capital punishment terrorism and just war then we have indian ethics purushartha concept of liberation anuvrata and mahavrata then we have uh, brahma vihara under buddhism then we have proofs for the existence of god logical atomism descartes theories saint anselm nyayikas religion without god religion and morality then we have this concept of religious pluralism determinism then nature of religious language cognitive and non cognitive and logical and symbolic so that was all about the latest syllabus of philosophy as your optional paper in the west bengal civil services mains examination so if you want to score well in the examination and if you want to get your dream job then uh, this is the time for you you can prepare well and uh, like you can follow our preparation strategies at sorvis classes you can join our classes by checking the description box below let me tell you what facilities we have here we provide you with uh, live lectures recorded lectures portal access which is available to the enrolled candidates 24 into 7 so that they can view these lectures again and again and whenever they feel they want to just go through these lectures and here we have uh, doubt clearing sessions revision classes mock test facilities scholarship facilities crash course facilities here we also solve the previous year's question papers we provide solution to the unsolved papers we make you practice the sample papers and our study materials that is solved study materials are already available on amazon and flipkart so you can buy from there also or if you want to buy and talk uh, to us directly then you can just check the contact details in the description box below do contact us and let me tell you here we teach for all kinds of competitive examinations and all kinds of entrance based Uh, exam preparations so if you want to take our uh, guidance then definitely you can join us by uh, checking the description box below and contacting us you can also go over to the link given in the in the description box below that's the official website of solvesus classes that is uh, solvesusclasses.com and uh, there you can uh, get a glimpse of our classes you can also visit the other videos of our channel to know more about our classes so in order to prepare well for any kind of competitive competitive examinations or any kind of recruitment based examinations do join our classes so that we can just help you out so that was all about our classes and that was all for today's class also we are going to meet once again in our next classes